Arizona's water future is one of the biggest pressing issues that our state is facing. I'm ABC 15 meteorologist Justin Hobbs. I'm taking you deep into the woods near Williams to get an exclusive look at a new device that'll help us better understand the water that's actually flowing down to the valley. In Arizona's high country, winter promises water. Each storm, each snowflake, a silent down payment on the water that feeds the valley below. But lately, something's been off. Water has gone missing. So I went with SRP deep into the canyons of Sycamore Creek near Williams, where new innovation could change how we track every drop. This is one of the more productive watersheds or part of the watershed from the Birdie, from the Birdie River. During 2023, there was almost five feet of snow out here. A strong winter can fill our rivers and reservoirs, but conservation starts with knowing what we have to lose. I like to say that if you don't measure it, you can't manage it. Monitoring begins here at weather stations fitted with snow gauges and a tool called an Elcor ET sensor. What this tells us is how much water is being brought back into the upper atmosphere by the trees and just by evaporation from the soil. But not all the melt evaporates. Some of it is disappearing underground. You got to know what's here before you can begin to do the mass balance of what's leaving. That's where a first of its kind flume comes in. A 650 pound custom built device airlifted into the forest to correct errors in existing creek sensors. Anytime you have ice form, lots of pressure, increase in pressure, and it leads to erroneous values and it leads to big errors in estimating the water that leaves the watershed. So how exactly does this thing work? Well, during the winter, as snow begins to fall and build up, this is actually able to melt that snow down. But not only that, even upstream, as that snow melts and becomes liquid water, it's going to be funneled through this flume, which gives us a precise and accurate measurement of how much of that snowpack is actually flowing into the rivers. We hope to close the water budget. So what that means is we are trying to and hope to account for all the incoming water in, in forms of precipitation and what stays in the watershed and what leaves the watershed. And by being able to do that, we can better understand how the forest responds to change. A budget that keeps water flowing to so many who depend on it. We obviously use water for like so many things every day. So yeah, turn on the tap and no water. Uh, I don't know, that would, that would be pretty scary. Fueling our taps and furthering research at ASU to understand how forest thinning and a warming climate is changing the way our water moves. Really important for policy making, decision making, and like just research purposes overall when working with forest restoration projects and other water resource management projects. In a state where every drop counts, this flume hidden deep in the woods could hold a big answer to Arizona's water future and how to keep it flowing when the snow stops falling. In Sycamore Creek, Justin Hobbs, ABC 15 Arizona.